What do we have here? A Black Panther hall? Something old? And something new? Stay tuned. Hello everyone, we are back. My name is Jason and this is my channel from Heroes to Icons. I'm here today to show you some Black Panther goodness. All the way back, I think, from the Silver Age up until this week. That's right, I have a, just a nice little haul for you guys. Just to show you some Black Panther goodness, being that the Blu-ray came out not too long ago. I'm celebrating just being a Black Panther fan. So uh, before we get started, I'd like to give a shout out to a very, now I guess, close friend of mine, Don the Comic Book Junkie. I'm going to leave his uh, link in the description below. He gave me an awesome shout out on his channel yesterday. And um, I have to say, you know, he uh, really put his blessing on me. And I had uh, more than a few new subscribers after he gave that shout out. So I'm shouting you out. Don the Comic Book Junkie, he has an awesome channel. He has one of the best comic book setups that I've seen besides Silver Age Dave. Why don't you guys uh, give him a look? And uh, now we're going to get into these books. First up is the Black Panther number one. It's a 30 cent book from 1973. Got a book that is the same age as I am. And that was done by Jack Kirby. I got this off of eBay. Around 50 bucks, give or take. Bought it uh, as a buy it now. And, um, you know, this is a little bit before the movie came out. It's like October, November. Real happy to have that in my collections. The colors on this thing is popping. I wouldn't say that it's, that it's a nine, but it's close enough. Next up, we have uh, Jungle Action, 19. This is the first issue where the Black Panther fights the Klan. Just a really awesome cover. Um, I have two of these, actually. I bought a few, and I, uh, this is a three-issue story arc. I gave one issue to each of my friends that was up here for Christmas. It's kind of really cool book. And, uh, you know, we love Marvel in that controversy. This is Jungle Action number 20. Also a great book. Awesome find on eBay. Um, near mint condition. Colors popping. It's like absolutely nothing wrong with this book. It's wonderful. And when you open up in the, in the middle, there's like a double page spread in there. It looks fantastic. Don't quote me. I don't know the writers of the artist just some black panther goodness and the last issue in this story arc jungle action 21 black panther on the burning cross this this story arc just um resonates with so much racial tension but uh good story good artwork i can't complain and if you can get it get one very hard to find in halfway decent grade we have uh, an Avengers book Avengers 87 with the retelling of the Black Panther's origin an uh, awesome book needs to be pressed but I cannot complain for the price that I got this for wonderful book and um all works very nice I think it was Sal Buscema did it really really good book and uh here we go with the number ones Black Panther number one I have no idea who did this book but I saw it and I had to get it Black Panther laying in the teeth of a panther pretty awesome now we're going to go into much more modern day current books. Black Panther number one from Marvel Knights. This was done by Christopher, Christopher Priest. 
and Mark Texaria. Mark Texaria had a regular cover of the Black Panther running up the side of a building. I no longer own that issue. But uh, this issue here is a variant cover. Dynamic Forces with a certificate of authenticity. Joe Casada cover. You can never go wrong with that. And here we have another Black Panther number one by Reginald Hudlin and Kevin Lashley, I believe. This is uh, the first appearance of Suri as the Black Panther. And that is a J. Scott Campbell cover. I got that for a super, super, super deal. Love that. Here we go, the number one of the last series. It just came out. This is by Tanache Colts and Brian Still Freeze. He has some of the best. Uh, his run was pretty awesome on this. I, I really didn't collect Black Panther all the way through, I think, until this series started. Just an awesome book. And uh, this cover is done by Frank Cho. Awesome. And this is a first print. We have a uh, variant for that same issue of Black Panther number one. That was a Midtown Comics variant. And this is done by Mark Brooks. When I saw this, I don't know whose channel I saw it on. I saw this, I was just like, I gotta have it. And, uh, as beautiful as that cover is, it was cheap. Less than $10, I believe. And Rise of the Black Panther number one, the movie variant. You can never go wrong with the movie variants. Awesome. Rise of the Black Panther number two, movie poster. Thank you very much. I think these next couple of books are all Rise of the Black Panther, and all of them are variants. Superhero Adventures, Rise of the Black Panther, number three. Isn't he cute? Rise of the Black Panther, number four. This is the Marvel vs. Capcom variant. You see a uh, pattern here, don't you? <laughs> can't go wrong with the variants. It beats by and tail sometimes. I got another variant. Rise of the Black Panther number five. That is the Future Fight mobile app game. That's pretty nice. He almost looks like a Killmonger in that picture, I believe. Rise of the Black Panther number six has another Future Fight variant and it's Killmonger sitting on a throne. That looks really, really sick. And we have the Black Panther, The Sound and the Fury. This was an eBay exclusive variant. Five bucks. You yeah, cannot go wrong with that. And, um, I don't know exactly what number it is. I think this is uh, Black Panther number 12 or something like that. This is uh, the Marco Cicchetto Young Guns variant. And you cannot go wrong with that. It's a beautiful cover. And uh, now we have the new Black Panther number one. Again, Tanase Coates is writing and the artwork in this issue in this series rather I should say is done by Daniel Lacuna. Not really a fan. Obviously, it's the uh, cover swipe from the Stell Freeze, number one. Book seems pretty nice. Really not a fan of the artwork. And I got, dare I say, almost all the variants. Got the blank cover variant. Do something nice with that. Probably drawing it myself. We have the Tom Beeland cover, which is uh, very cute, but very 
important, I'll say, in a perspective of how important the Black Panther was in cinema and to young black children everywhere, I guess. Of course, we have the Stanley Art Germ cover. Every time he does a cover, mostly, we always grab that. Beautiful, beautiful cover. I think this is, uh, that's the best picture that I've ever seen Stanley R. Germ do of a black person. It's really good. We have another number one by Yasmin Pertree, and that's just awesome. I don't know what this is a rip of, but I know there's a piece of artwork somewhere with the same exact thing, but obviously it's not the Black Panther. And that's awesome, especially the green starry logo there. Very nice. And uh, this variant was only $5. And we have the Pepe La Raz variant, the Young Guns, which I love Pepe Larraz's artwork. And this picture here just kind of totally gives away part of the storyline. But it was Pepe Larraz, and you cannot go wrong with that. And the last and final book and final cover for this Black Panther number one. Boom. And that is by Ng Yuk Lee. Very difficult to pronounce his name. Black Panther sitting on the throne. And if I'm not mistaken, and they haven't said this in the book yet, but I think that's a vibranium throne. Real awesome. This book here is going for various different prices on eBay. And uh, different comic outlets actually selling this cover for $40. No, I didn't pay $40 for it, thank God. Oh, got to strike while the iron is hot before they raise the prices. Well, everyone... That's pretty much it for me. Just want you to show you these Black Panther books that I had. And we're going to end it with this right here. If you haven't picked it up, that's my little steel book. Exclusive to Best Buy. Isn't he pretty? And this is the back. Just awesome. So, I hope you guys really enjoyed this. Continue to look for more videos from me. Like it, share it, subscribe it if you haven't, and we will see you soon. Take care.